you bought your beautiful fish from Canada, your home, now you're wondering what to do with it. If you're looking for some more information on where to buy it and how to store it and some more of those details, just check out our other video. But here we're going to move forward with how do we get it on the table? Now you got it. Let's come up with a beautiful recipe that's quick and simple for everyone. We can take this beautiful, healthy product and get it into our plates. Kind of excited to show you this. I mean, this is something I've been doing for years, but I realize it's not that common. It is just such a great way to prepare a bunch of these meals. You can actually use the fish right from frozen if it's one of the smaller, thinner fish. So like the sole, the flounder or the red fish. This is a perfect technique. You can make a bunch of these and stick them in your freezer and just pull them out right from the freezer, right into the oven, like 10 minutes on 400. So we're going to build them. Um, we're going to build them up with some vegetables just so that it's a kind of complete meal in one. And these are all optional. Really, the idea is that you package them all up, they go in the freezer and it's quick and easy. So that's what we're working on, quick and easy. <laughs> so this is some zucchini from the garden. If zucchini is not your, you know, go to vegetable, you can do, um, you know, shredded vegetables, peppers, whatever it is that your favorite uh, vegetable is really. And so just a little bed of something. And I like that because it gives you some of the steam um, and it keeps your fish from sticking. And uh, then you have a complete meal in your package. So piece of fish and zucchini, just a little bit of garlic. I'm a big garlic lover, so it's totally, again, this all preference. I like thyme, you can use basil, you can use parsley, whatever suits your fancy. I'm a tomato lover, so if that works for you, perfect, make some, get some tomatoes on there. But again, if it's peppers, um, whatever you like. This is just some green onion, but shallots, regular onion, red onion, whatever. It's all good to go. Um, so you got your, you got, and I've also often put rice in here. So you could pre-cook your rice and stick it into, or little slivers of like thin potatoes would also work really great. So just some pepper, nice little salt. Want to put a little bit extra salt on then you'd probably just put for the fish, because fish, you have to remember you have all the vegetables in there too. I'm also an olive oil lover. <laughs> There's no scarcity of that. <laughs> you could also use butter if you like. Um, yeah, so on to the next one, your zucchini, your fish, onion, garlic. Again, we'll do thyme on this one. I really love thyme. It goes root nice with fish. Basil goes nice with fish too. Some tomatoes, pepper, salt. And yeah, your olive oil. And then we'll just build the third one. Beautiful zucchini on this one. And again, this is so, but you can use any other fish that you like and you can pull it right from the freezer. And the package comes with all the, in, they're all individually frozen. So, you know, if you've got a bunch of people coming for supper or it's just your home by yourself, And there's no smell from this either. You know, the smell is often one of those things that um, people talk about when it's when they're cooking fish. They have, well, it smells very fishy, but I don't know. I don't, if you get a beautiful fresh fish, I mean, Canadian seafood is in the coldest, some of the coldest waters on earth. So it's, uh, yeah, a beautiful product. There you go. Nice. All right, so let's get these in ready for the oven. So don't get all caught up on the fancy rolling it up now. But just tuck it and fold it all the way around. If you don't want to do that, you can easily give me a second and a little twist at the end. If you don't want to put them, um, if you don't want to do the fancy little wrap and don't let it concern you, you can leave them open if you like and pop them right into a frying pan. You want to put them in the pan that's got a lip on it. So whether that's a cookie sheet or something, because lots of delicious juice comes out of it. So you can put one or a couple into a pan and cook them the same. So they'll go right in the oven, 400, eight, 10 minutes. Um, yeah, I do love to wrap them up like this though, because then I'll put them right into a freezer. If you're going to eat them that week, just um, just put them in just like they are. 
if you're going to save them for a couple of weeks or so, just put them in a freezer bag, like a sealable freezer bag, just because you don't want them, the freezers can be harsh and they'll dry it out. Also, if you're going to refreeze them, be quick. You don't want to leave them out thawing and then refreeze them. So if you are going to take them right from frozen, make this, get all your vegetables ready, and then last minute, just come in with your fish and your topping and then seal them up. Start here, fold, fold. Just fold it in on itself. There's, there's no real science to it. Tuck it all in, all the way around. There you go, and at the end, a little twist to hold in all your juice. All right, so down to the last one. If you're looking for a fun activity for the family, I often lay out all the toppings, and then the toppings can, uh, yeah, the kids can go through and put in on whatever they want. So it's also another. I love kale in the bottom, shredded cabbage, all kinds of stuff. So, and there you go. And that's it. 400 in the oven, 10 minutes. All right, so right out of the oven, right onto your plate. Let's have a peek. There you go. So yeah, the beauty of this is the cleanup. It's quick, it's easy, it's a total whole meal in one, and you can get the recipe on seafoodfromcanada.com.